We fabricated a standard Revit model for the cell tower project. Uh, we did this so that the architect in whichever area they are in can download it straight from the website and have one file where they can pull all the information they need and then be able to tailor it to a site plan. There are design options attached to this model where they can switch from either the tripod or to the monopole. And as it switches from the two, the foundations also change and the different variables in each of the different projects also change. From there they would just purge any unused data and be able to produce 2D plans fairly quickly. The model was also beneficial to us because we created a floor schedule and a foundation schedule that gives us the area in cubic yards of how much concrete is going in there and that also changes as you move from design options. From here we also took the model and imported it into Navisworks. From Navisworks we also imported our T6 schedule and as you can see here at the bottom we have our tasks that have been imported and the different dates as scheduled. And this is mostly beneficial to the contractor that will be on the job and if they have access to uh, Revit capabilities or BIM capabilities in their office. It's just a virtual schedule for them to help them keep up and not be able to miss anything as the project is going on. They will be building uh, a lot of cell towers and this is just an easy way to keep track of what's going on on each site. Here we have the Navisworks simulator. At the bottom we have the task at hand and as we run the simulator you can see the time and date running in the top left hand side also as it builds up the model we can also come in here manually and pick a date for ourselves and see where the project should be at that certain time we know if we go here to about January 8th the foundations should be starting to get put in and if we move over to about the 25th we should see the tower should be erected the antenna put on and then the fence coming in 